Let's start with this jolly elf uh, and a tube of paint in front of a fence. They look like they're on the same plane and I'd like to make them pop a little more by separating them from it. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to cut them out. So let's see how we go about that using the new Quick Select. So we're going to go over and select the Quick Select tool, which used to be the Magic Wand tool which is still there, but this is a better refinement of it. Now all we need to do is take the brush and drag it over continuous areas, and it will calculate how those areas can be separated from the background. And it does that in real time. We just drag, and what we get is we get these big, large areas. Now what we can do is we can clean this mat up as we're going, by hitting the Option key and deleting portions of the mat the same way by dragging over them. It will exclude those areas that we drag over and clean it up. And it does it so fast. And all we gotta do is let go of the Option key and then we're back in business with extending the mat again. So we can go back and forth and work very intuitively adding and subtracting from the mat in a single process very quickly and do a cutout, which we can then look at and say, okay, well, here's this little area. Let's zoom in here and clean this board up that's coming out of his head. So switching back to the tool, uh, which is uh, W as a shortcut, we drag again over that area and just uh, command X to delete it and it's gone. So now all that's all left to do is to put the background back on. We'll turn that back on. And we will now go to the filters. And we will uh, choose the Gaussian blur. And we have a really nice default setting there right now. Well, Once we hit that, look, here's Robert popping now away from the fence in the background looking like a million bucks. And uh, the lens looks a lot better now, too. 